What platform to use to launch a new online course? Hey everybody, it's Braden Chase, and I wanted to talk with you guys about this. I was in a group and I was answering some questions, and this was one of the ideas that kind of came up. Someone was asking, what do I do? And at first I'm like, that's not that hard of a question because there's tons of options. And then I stopped, I'm like, you know what? There are tons of options. This is kind of hard because there are too many options to go for. Hello, hello. So um, th that was kind of the discussion that I had there. And that's why I answered the question, explaining it to her. And there, there are three different options that are important, right? When you're doing this, there's lots of different course options. Uh, three of them in particular that I point out to people. The first one is Udemy, okay? Second one is Thinkific. And then the third one is ClickFunnels, okay? And there's lots of others. There's, you know, 20, 30, 40 other ones. But those three right there are kind of rock the, the world or the, hey, Steven, thanks for being on. So those three, or kind of what you go for, but they each kind of go at it in a different angle in a different way. So I, for most people, I don't recommend Udemy and I don't recommend Thinkific and I do recommend ClickFunnels and let me tell you why. So with when I launched my first course, I did it on Udemy because I didn't really know what I was doing, didn't really understand marketing, didn't really understand anything. <laughs> so I'm like, sweet, let's do this. So I launched this course, I put it on Udemy because their service takes care of all the marketing. You just put your stuff up there and they do everything. I'm like, sweet, this is awesome. I don't wanna do any of that stuff. I'm just gonna let you guys do it, that's great. Uh, the, and for the first while it was fine because I wasn't in, didn't have to deal with those things and it was great. But after a while I realized, you know what? Something doesn't look right with the dollars that are coming in, right? I have this many students, but I'm only getting this many dollars. Like what's going on with this? So I sat down, I walked through all of the numbers, actually I had to export all of these numbers in these giant spreadsheets of you know, like 8,000 different things. And by the end of it, I had like 22,000 students. So I'm like calculating all of these things over, it's terrible. Um, come to find out that Udemy had taken 88% uh, of the revenue for themselves and left me with 12% of that. And I'm like, that is not right. Digital courses usually have like a, a profit revenue ratio of like 50 plus percent, 70 plus percent. I mean, they're, they're insanely profitable. And I got 12. Like that's not, not okay. So I sat down and I'm like, okay, so not going to do Udemy anymore. I don't recommend Udemy. Boom. Set Udemy off there. Who's next? Thinkific. Thinkific is cool, right? Thinkific as a side note, right? Thinkific is probably the best tool that I've seen for actual course creation. They have so many tools inside of their, their back end, right? Their system that you can do your quizzing and your videos and all of these different surveys and stuff and integrations. Stuff. It's so incredibly powerful. It's great. From a teaching perspective, Thinkific is kind of the category king, right? They rock. They are far ahead of anybody else. They're awesome. But what made me angry again was the marketing tools. So with ClickFunnels, sorry, with Thinkific, they have this incredible free online course tools. Here you go, plug it in. But their tools are, they're more advanced tools, the marketing tools, the tools you actually use to make money are locked behind payment gateways. So you can't actually sell your thing until you start paying them money. You can't send out emails until you start sending them, paying them money. So you can build all this giant, beautiful, glorious course, but then you can't do anything with it. You don't actually make any money until you pay them money first. And as you move up those tiers, right? Because they have levels in their tiers, right? It gets very expensive very fast, okay? Enter ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels takes the opposite perspective. They don't control the marketing. You pay them upfront because they don't have, they have like a two week free trial, but after that it's paid. Um, but it's a flat fee. It's like, it's a hundred bucks, 97, $97, bam, done. And then it just, you have complete and total control over all of the marketing. Their course area, right, is actually pretty simple, especially compared to Thinkific, right? It's, Thinkific's course material is glorious, <laughs> but the ClickFunnels course material is really basic. It's like menus, videos, click on the video, click on the thing, watch the video, click on the next thing. It's very, very basic. There's no quizzes, there's no structure, there's nothing. It's just videos, watch the videos. Um, so, but they give you control over the marketing, which is the key. You can't make money without the marketing, right? You have to have the marketing to make money. <laughs> so, and they know that, right? So they give that to you. 
complete control over the design, over the structure, over the pages, over the words, over the placement of anything, the, the coding, the trackers, the Facebook pixels, the Google, anything. It's all in there. Here you go for free. Okay, not for free, but included, right? Included in the thing. Whereas these other ones, they do these tiers, right? So it goes dollars, 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 really expensive. I did the math once on the Thinkific one and at their top tier, it's like $800 a month. It's incredibly expensive. ClickFunnels is 100, right? It's way, way cheaper and you get all of that control right up front. So ClickFunnels is great. And that's why I recommend it, right? So I moved my course over to ClickFunnels. I went from Udemy to Thinkific to ClickFunnels. And ClickFunnels, I mean, I actually had to pull a bunch of stuff out of my course because there was so much in there. So many things inside of my course, then ClickFunnels simply couldn't do it as far as the course is concerned. But I've made more money on that course and on that structure and on those pieces than I have made. Well, I've made more money using ClickFunnels, right, in those pieces, put it that way, than I have on the other ones, okay? Because I actually made the money to me. And that's the whole thing, instead of paying for this system or paying for this system or these different structures. So for people who are beginning, I always recommend go to ClickFunnels first, get your course, make it profitable, make, make it successful, do something powerful with it, okay? Have some dollars and then take those dollars and maybe put it into Thinkific and then take those dollars and put it into Kajabi or into whatever else. Don't go to Udemy, nobody goes to Udemy, stop it but you can do these other things because ClickFunnels lets you generate money now really, really fast because you control the marketing. So that's kind of the message for today, right? Which platform should you use to host your course? And I strongly, firmly recommend ClickFunnels. If you guys have any questions about this, I, you can go to my website at bradenchase.com and I actually have a free link. You guys can go in there, we can talk about it. We can discuss, I can tell me your course structures, right? And kind of strategize with you on how to build those things, how to set it up so you can start making money too, right? And you can kind of break free of your job. You can break free of the struggles that you're having and just get some, uh, a better life. So anyway, thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.